I really want to talk to everybody about the legacy and the importance of continuing to elevate mental health in this community, but also on the planet. Well, I think I think um, it's interesting. The pandemic seems to have um, made mental health services okay, and so I think people have sought them out, and I hope that continues because it's really important and it's an invisible thing. And people normally don't pay attention to that, or they don't give it as much credence as physical, uh, ed, uh, physical medical stuff. So I think it's important that uh, that mental health services are highlighted all the time sure. to remind people. Okay. Absolutely. Just your presence tonight and where we are elevates the legacy of your father. Seven-time Emmy Awards, just incredible. Talk to us about some of your fond memories and how much just walking around this lot means to you. Well. I grew up on this lot. I mean, I, I was here when I was seven years old. We started running around here getting in trouble. There was no video surveillance, so it was okay. And, uh, you know, we, we would just play all day and, and then go to the set and play there and meet our family there. And, you know, the, the, the castmates, the cast members were our family. Um, they came to dinner with us. They, it was a huge family and wonderful, wonderful time for me. It's amazing to be on this lot and uh, the memories just flood back. It's an incredible thing. Absolutely. Last but not least, the game of poker. Some say that in life it helps illustrate strengths and weaknesses. To what extent do you think that's true? Ooh, that's a hard one. I think the game of, uh, we all play poker every day, don't we? I mean, if, if we have a meeting, we're playing poker most of the time. So I think poker is, an, is essential to living life. It should be taught in every school. That's, I've spoken. Poker? Yes. I don't agree with that. <laughs> What do you enjoy most about being involved with this organization? Well, I mean, Matt and I have six children, three autistic, and when I met Matt, um, I was a single mom of four, two autistic. I had severe uh, anxiety disorder, and I couldn't afford mental health therapy. So for us, having the entire family supported with not just um, arts and enrichment, but also with mental health, there's an 80% divorce rate in special needs families, and a, a, I think even equal bankruptcy rates. So the stress levels, the panic is constant with families. So we want to be able to support all aspects of the special needs family. Absolutely. Thanks for the work you continue to do and following through. I appreciate it, young man. Absolutely.